Um, no judging. We're having fun. Hey everyone! Okay, so finally I'm going to do my home stuff haul. In my last Target haul video, I had a bunch of like clothes and you know, my regular stuff. And then I had a bunch of home stuff. As you know, a couple of months ago, I moved. I'm trying to care about my surroundings. That doesn't really come naturally to me. Trying to decorate my universe the way I would like it to be rather than just like, oh, crazy, move along, don't care. And I love shopping and it's actually going pretty well. It's kind of scaring me how much I'm getting into it. I asked you guys if you wanted to see another home haul and I don't think I got one answer where anyone said no. If, if you did say no and I missed you, uh, I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm doing it, yay. I've got stuff from like, all different kinds of places. I order a lot of stuff online because in all honesty I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off and I don't have a ton of time to like peruse stores for like home decor. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll live that life but today I don't live that life. Yeah stuff from everywhere and I'm excited to show you. Side note I don't really have like a theme or whatever. My different rooms all have kind of a different theme. They have different vibes. Um, I noticed I have like an animal theme. I don't know. I have no explanation for myself. Anyway, uh, let's talk about one of the first things that excites me so, so much. There is an artist called Oh Gosh Cindy. I don't know what her real name is, but she has a store on Etsy and you can uh, order her watercolor prints and she just does like a whole bunch of like pop culture portraits and she does like their little like quote. I went a little nuts one day and I got like, I don't even know how many, a bunch of them, a whole bunch. I'm going to show you them really quickly. I still need to get frames and I kind of think I want to put them all in one place. I'm in love with them. Look her up because she kind of has great taste and she's clearly an amazing artist. Audrey Hepburn, Hatchet Face from Crybaby, Frenchie from Grease. I don't know what Natalie Portman's character name was, but this from Black Swan, Ghost World, Clueless, of course. Um, Morrissey, and actually this was kind of a mistake, but she was really cool about it. I ordered the Morrissey that had the song lyrics on it, and then but she sent me the one without, and so I was like, oh no, you sent me the wrong one. And it took her just a matter of days, and I think she's based out of the UK, and she sent me the right one. Actually, there are two more, but I got frames for them already, and so they're in the other room. I have to go get them. Got them. Whoa, you can see all of the lights. I already got frames for these two because they are a smaller size, so I was thinking that these two would not go with the rest of them. They are obviously from Moonrise Kingdom. I still haven't decided where these are gonna go. I love them so much. They might go in my bedroom. Haven't decided. And I got these frames from Hobby Lobby. I'll definitely post pictures once I finally frame them and hang them and all that. Kind of sticking with the whole hanging art kind of situation, I got this online. I got it at Joss in Maine and it is an enormous canvas. Flamingo! Who doesn't love a good old flamingo? The bathroom is going to be like pink flamingos. I've got more pink flamingos to share. But I actually don't think this one can go in the bathroom. It might have to go in the hall. And you can't even see the whole thing because it's absolutely ginormous. But I like big things. I'm a big thing. I connect with big things. I don't know. Here's my other pink flamingo thing that I randomly got from Hobby Lobby. Um, kind of scares me actually. And this was kind of like near the checkout counter and I just like didn't think and I just like picked it up. The beak is like creepy and drippy and I don't know if this poor little flamingo has had problems in his life but he lives with me now and we love each other. And I don't know what the animal theme is but I've got an animal theme. We've got flamingos and we've got foxes. I love foxes. I love flamingos. But why don't they live with me? I'm making it happen. The flamingos live kind of like in here in the hall in the bathroom. Foxes live in my room. You haven't even seen all the foxes stuff yet. But back to wall things. I know I'm like all over the place, I'm sorry. I ordered these from Etsy as well. And the store is called Urban Walls, I think. I got three different kinds of wall decals. First, I got a set of circles. So they're like little polka dots. And these are a metallic silver. Haven't decided where these are going. I also got some light pink flamingos. These are kind of like a peel and stick version, so there's paper on either side of them. They're just a light pink, but you're not seeing like the actual pink that it is. You have to peel the backing back. But like the instructions make it sound like it's gonna be quite a process. And I've been a little bit nervous about like actually sticking them to my walls. And I don't think that you can use them again. So that's kind of annoying, but whatever. And the last ones I got were these triangles and they're just like plain black. And I think they'd look really cool in my room because my room is like the forest. 
triangles makes sense to me. I don't know why, but it does. Another thing that I almost forgot is this wall tapestry back here you guys know I kind of have an addiction to these things I had to like literally cut myself off I had that forest one now it's in my bedroom in my new apartment but you don't see it anymore and then I have this one this one is magical thinking and I got it from urban outfitters and then you know I have that other one that I had in my old old bedroom in my videos and I've had that one for like five, ten years, not ten years, but a really long time. I got that one like ages ago at this weird hippie store. I'm pointing this way because it's in my living room. I don't know why I point. You don't know these things. Anyway, and now a few things from Target. I got this sweet little fox to come live with me. It was in the outdoor section. I think it might have even been on sale. I love me some foxes. So he came to live in my forest. He's liking it. Kind of scary. Don't focus on it. Don't look straight into the eyes but be nice. And to go along with him, I got this little mushroom because I think it's cute and it's green and it's kind of like unstable. So I don't know if that was a mistake, but I went with it. I'm into that kind of like weird 60s, 70s, like olive green vibe, especially in my room. It's a lot of green in there. And also from Target, I found these little boxes that I have no clue what I'm going to use these boxes for, but I got them. They were on clearance. I think they were like $3. This one is like a beautiful, like kind of sagey jade green, clearly nothing in it. And then this one is wood. And I actually have three of these. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Little things, little containers just called to me, like literally my entire life. Like uh, when I was little, I used to have this like semi creepily large collection of like small jewelry boxes and just small boxes in general for no reason. I didn't put things in them. I just collected them in a larger box. I don't know why. So I'm just continuing that. We're having fun. I got this oh so adorable fox lamp from World Market and it's been in my bedroom and it came separately. Like they had a bunch of bases and then they had a bunch of shades that you could mix and match with. And I went with this gray. It doesn't put out a ton of light, but it's really tiny and I don't know. I just think it's like irresistibly cute. I wanna go overboard and be like, oh, your house is fox themed. Um, but maybe I'm going down that road. But maybe you can't help it if you're one of those people. Maybe I'm just one of those people and maybe this is just the life that um, I'm gonna live now. No judging. I think that's it. Do you like it? Do you want me to do more home stuff hauls? If not someday, I will do like an apartment tour. I will try. I'm like warming up to the idea slowly. I know, I should do it. So I'm gonna try to do it someday, someday, someday. No promises, I'm already getting overwhelmed by the thought. But anyway, thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know if you wanna see more home hauls. That always helps. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, I would love to hear from you down below. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Google Plus. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. Come and find me there, cause I like to be with you everywhere. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I don't, I can't explain myself. Too much stuff. Nah, nah, space. For like, that's just how I do. Uh, ouch. Oof. Very dramatic today. Natalie Portman's, whoa. Yummy smell and I like that. I like to smell. We've already been over this. I guess the theme of this video is that I like to smell food. Not smell food. I like to smell like food. Both, actually. Hey, it is what it is.